The leaders of the world's advanced economies have all arrived here in southern Italy for the start of the G7, and already there's progress on a massive aid package for Ukraine, $69 billion worth of loan provided to Kyiv, $5 billion of which will come from Canada, backed by Russian assets that have been seized by Western countries, something the Canadian government's long pushed for. Certainly the assets of the oligarchs, their yachts and their mansions. But Canada's gone beyond that. It was the first country in the world to adopt legislation permitting us to confiscate Russian state assets. Now that's controversial in international law. And that controversy has led to a more watered down approach compared to what the Canadian government had hoped for, the outright seizure of Russian assets. But the plan is viewed as a way to Trump proof further aid to Ukraine as the political futures of six of the seven leaders at the G7, including Justin Trudeau, is up in the air. Now, as for the Prime Minister's first working day here in Italy, he'll meet one-on-one -on -one with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, as well as German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and French President Emmanuel Macron, as well as participating in group sessions with the other leaders. But there's also one potential meeting we're all watching for here. Any sideline conversations between Trudeau and Indian President Narendra Modi, who's been an invited guest here at the summit. Now, relations between the two countries are still sour after Trudeau alleged agents of the Indian government were behind the killing of a Sikh leader in Surrey, B.C. But as it stands now, there's no formal meeting on the books between the two leaders. Mackenzie Gray, Global News, Bari, Italy.